Hello everyone and welcome back to the FTB Spot. Today I'm talking about the Industrial Centrifuge. It is one of the new Greg Tech items. And I have it right here. If you right click on it, the interface looks like so. And you can see the Greg Tech symbol right down in there. Now this interface is a little bit different than all the other ones that we have seen. So let me explain it really quick here. This is the container spot, which basically you just put cells in there. Some of the stuff is going to go into cells. Some is just going to turn into dust that you can take out. But you should just keep some uh, cells in there. If you, if it's not working, that is one thing to check is if you have enough cells in this spot. And you'll see what I mean in a little bit as we get into this. Now the way this guy works is that you put your production in the center slot. You put it right here in the middle and it's going to run and the output goes into these four slots. It's just done this way because it's, well, centrifuge, it spins, so that's why they do it that way. One of the things you can put in, if you didn't notice, is clay dust. You can run that in there and it took a couple cells and now it is running. This takes a while to run, so do make sure you have enough time to run this. It, and it changes depending on what you're using. The EU it takes, it does take EU, it's connected to industrial craft. The EU it takes and the time it takes changes based on what you put into the input. Now to make that clay dust, you take some clay, make a clay block, and dump it in your macerator. That will run and turn into two clay dust. You need a total of four to run the centrifuge though. So if you only have that, you only need two clay blocks to get what this output is and it is come on two different things as you can see it took two cells one is a lithium cell and the other is a silicon cell now the silicon cell is the one that I was really interested in getting lithium nice little byproduct but uh, this is really the one I wanted for the solar panels. That is how you get the silicon cells for those. And as you see, I just got the two clay dust from that one clay block. If I dump that into the centrifuge, it will not run. You need four clay dust. You can also use sand. You can use redstone. You can use, uh, I was using flint dust, which you need to macerate some flint to get that flint dust. And it does take two flint. One flint will not work. You need to have two in there for it to start running. And you can see there it goes, starts running. And then you need eight flint dust to set this to run. So it's quite a lot of getting the right number of items to get it to run. You can centrifuge redstone. You do need to do a whole stack of redstone. Uh, for instance, if I pulled the recipe of, on how to make a silicon cell, oops. That didn't quite work. Activate that. All right, we'll do it the roundabout way. Solar panel, how to make a silicon cell. You can make it from lazurite dust, sodalite dust, emerald dust. Full stack of redstone will give you 27 silicon cells, but you do need the 27 empty cells in there. Also, you can make uh, it from sand, from the flint dust and from the clay dust. So as you saw before, you needed 27 cells to run a stack of redstone. And I don't have the 27 cells in there, so this will not run. So that's the thing to check is, do you have enough in uh, the input and do you have enough in the cells? That's what to check if it is not running. And there you can see I just got the flint dust from the two flint and I know I'm going to kind of quick on this. so. If uh, something is unclear, do let me know, and I'll try to go over it again um, in more detail in the next video, which is the video where I will be going through how to create a solar panel. And that is going to be a very good source of EU, so I do recommend going to that quickly. Uh, and that should be about it for this. We're just going to end on showing you how to build it. It is called the industrial centrifuge. There is a centrifuge extractor and a centrifuge. Those are different things. You do want the industrial centrifuge. And you can see there's a couple different ways of making this. 
First of all, though, you need the refined iron on each of the four corners. You do need an extractor, which we built before, in the middle. And you need advanced machine blocks to make those. And I need a few more, so I'm going to go ahead and make one. You make a machine block, which is eight refined iron all in a, well, it's in a chest or a furnace shape. You get your machine block. To make the it, an advanced one, you take your advanced alloy and carbon plates, put them in that position, or you can put them in that position. doesn't matter as long as you have them opposite each other. That will make your advanced machine blocks. So you do need two of those advanced machine blocks and then some type of circuit or gate here. I use the advanced circuits because that's the familiar thing to me. I know how to make them. These other items, either these cost a lot of diamonds and the gates cost, well, you need to have a assembly table and a laser and all that set up, which I don't. So I've, I've been making the advanced circuits. This is an advanced circuit for those of you who are not familiar with that, you make a circuit, you need some lapis, some glowstone, and four redstone will make an advanced circuit. Two advanced circuits, put top and bottom, will complete the recipe for the industrial centrifuge. And then you are ready to start getting your different cells, and you will need that for the solar panel, like I said before. One last thing you can see, to run the lazarite dust through the centrifuge, it takes 295,000 EU, and a lot of time. Now, if you want to run the redstone through, less EU, less time. Sand takes only 500 seconds. Flint dust, dust? the 50 seconds and also the clay dust so you can see that EU also went down to 5,000 it depends on what you're running through it how long and how much EU so that right there is the industrial centrifuge the last piece of equipment we need before we start working on our solar panels and as a little teaser I did finally fix that stupid hatch uh, that wasn't the teaser though I do have a few solar panels started up here solar panel number one and the advanced solar panel that looks interesting I do like the interface so in the next video I will run through how to make the solar panel and what I'm doing with the wires I'll have to do a video on the different types of wires on the the different types of energy storage on the uh, ways to step down there's lots to go through so do keep watching we have a lot to cover uh, next video will be the solar panel so get ready for that build your centrifuge and we will get going thanks for watching the video please do like subscribe and give me any comments uh, criticism or tips or otherwise I'll take them all and uh, we'll see you next time then thanks everyone for watching